One of the most frustrating parts about owning a Rust server is if you get a message or an F7 report or something like that from one of the players in your server, and you can't do anything about it simply because you're not at your terminal directly in front of your console. Well, today I'm going to show you a way that you can actually take that with you on your mobile device, which of course in itself could be a blessing or a curse. Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plugin reviews, tutorials, plus I wanna show you all of the different tools that all the pros use that maybe they don't even want me telling you about. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. All right, so I don't know how many times I've said this in the past, but this should be a fairly short video. This is a very straightforward process and anybody can can do this well just about anybody but i'll explain more about that in just a minute but shorter videos allow me to tell you about more things going on rather than the actual subject matter of the video that i'm doing today so first things first if you haven't already make sure you join my discord my discord has just over 4,000 members in there and they're all people just like you they're all at various different stages of learning the process of setting up rust servers building up their population and generally just building a community around the game so if you're not in the discord yet you're missing out head over to discord.srtbull.com to join the server right now. The other thing I'd like to tell you about is a contest that's running right now for a $100 gift card redeemable at codefling.com. This giveaway is being put on by the actual owners and operators of Codefling. I'd love to name them all off here right now, but the only one that I know of for sure is Death. So I'm going to put a link to this Gleam contest right now in the video description down below, and I'll probably throw it in the pinned comment as well. Head on over there. There's no cost to enter. We currently have 714 entries in the contest, and it runs for another 19 days, so you've still got plenty of time, so make sure you get your entries in for that $100 gift card. All right, so today I want to tell you about the Rust Admin Tool. It's an app that you can download to your iOS device directly from the Apple App Store, which gives you direct Archon access plus a bunch of different tools you can actually use to execute on your server, all fully accessible right directly from your phone. So yes, you did hear me correctly. Unfortunately, this app is only available for iOS users. There is no Android option that I know of right now. At least it's not made by this gentleman right here. If somebody out there does know of one that's made for Android, of course, leave it in the comment section down below because I need to know about it. Even though I'm on an Apple device, always have been, probably always will be. All right, so I'm gonna try something a little bit different here. I'm actually doing a screen cap directly on my phone right now and I'm going to inject this screen capture into this video in post-production. I hope this works out otherwise this video is going to be completely trash and I'll probably have to throw it away. All right, so this is what things are going to look like when you first download the app. Obviously, there's going to be no servers in there. So all we need to do is click on add a new server. Obviously, we need to give the server a name. This is just an identifier on the actual app itself. It's not like you're changing the name of your server. And then obviously, we need the IP address, the server port, the Archon port, and then the Archon password. And no, this password is not going to stay at change me. Don't worry. Once you guys see this video, that password's going to be changed. And then we just need to click on save. And then it adds that server to our list. And we can, of course, add many more servers to this as many as you want. For this video, we're just gonna do one and then we can just click on the tap to connect. Once it says it's connected, we can tap on the lighter blue bar where the actual title name is and that actually logs us into our server. And of course, in here, you're gonna see a bunch of different information, the server description, which map it's using, the players that are online, etc., etc. Down at the bottom there, if we click on the players, obviously if there were players on this server, it would show their names in this list right here. And then of course, we can go directly into the chat. And of course, if we chat directly from here, it's obviously gonna show up in our server. And if of course, it also reports back any chat that happens to be happening in your server. If we go into the console tab, of course, this is a direct connection to your Archon console, same as you would see it from your server. Or if you're on a local host, this is going to look very familiar to you. And of course, you can run commands directly from here, including the say command if you so chose. But I would prefer to use the chat section for that. But either way will work. And then if we go into the tools tab, we've got a select number of tools that we can use. And yes, these do work. I've tested them here. For example, we can give an item to a player. We simply click on which item we want to give them. And then we decide which player we want to give it to. And then we just click on give item. And as you can see on my screen there, it gave me one buckshot. The give item to all players, we can define a quantity here. So let's say we wanted to give out 1,556 rounds. We can just click on give that item. And as you can see on my screen, it did give me those 1,000 rounds of 556 ammo. So definitely a pretty cool little tool. Simple, effective. It just works really, really well. I've enjoyed having this app on my phone. When I left on vacation a couple months ago and I actually left the country, this is how I was able to do everything that I needed to do on my server while I was away. It was super convenient. If you click on the gear icon in the top left hand corner, it's going to take you to some really simple settings for the actual app itself. The auto connect, I like having that turned on. You don't necessarily have to. If you don't have that turned on, obviously when you open up the app, you'll have to physically click on it in order for it to actually connect to your server which no big deal. We of course can contact the developer directly from the app. 
And then of course we can also leave the app a review. And if we have a look at the actual review page on the actual Apple App Store, you're going to see there's only one review. I don't know why that is. This isn't a new application. From what I can find out, I think this is about four years old. So I don't know if not very many people are using this or just nobody's actually reviewing it. I'm not really sure. It's also worth mentioning that the developer of this app didn't reach out to me and ask me to do this. I'm not getting paid for this, obviously, because it's a free app. But I think this is a missed opportunity that this app only has one review and it's only by me. All right, so go check out the Rust admin tool on the Apple App Store. I'm going to put a link directly to it in the video description down below, but it is searchable simply by looking up Rust admin tool. So here's your homework and you can get it done all in the next 10 seconds. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment down below, join the Discord, enter the contest for the $100 gift card from codefling.com. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you next Friday. This is so weird. This is a template server that I'm using to build templates that I can give away for people that are just looking for a plug and play key solution for the Rust server. And somebody actually came in and built a base on this server. That is super weird. I mean, I guess why not? They obviously just caught it as I had it online while I was working on things. Eh, whatever. Power to them.